What's up guys, it's David here from phonebook.com and in this video I'm going to show you how to download an app from the Windows Phone Marketplace. So the first step obviously is to open up the Marketplace and I'm actually going to break this video down into two parts. First part I'm just going to show you how to download an app. Second part I'm going to show you how to find an app and determine whether or not that app is worth downloading. So for the first part I'm just going to click on apps. I'm going to scroll over to uh, just all apps really quick and go over to free and then just click on Adobe Reader and you can see at the very bottom you have the option to install tap on that guy and you can see it's being downloaded and it'll be automatically installed on your phone so you can see right here it's being downloaded and as soon as it's done downloading it'll install and it'll there you go that's it so it's done downloading so now I'll go back to the marketplace for the second part of the video and I really want to show you how to find the good apps so I'm gonna do the same thing and go to apps but show you some of the categories so you have the featured apps right over here you have your categories that you can scroll through, like entertainment, music, video, tools, and productivity, etc. Um, you can go look at the new apps that are out. You can look at the top apps, and uh, like I said, the featured apps. So we'll go ahead and go to a category. Let's say I want a travel, actually a health and fitness app. So I'm going to tap on health, health and fitness. You have your top applications on this first screen. Swipe over to the right. You have your free apps, and then your new apps and then the apps uh, within a subcategory from that section. So let's say I want a diet and nutrition app. And again, you can get your top app. So let's say I want the uh, weight tracker app. I could actually either buy it by pressing buy or try it. So this is because this is a paid app. If it was a free app, such as, uh, let's go back one step and look at free. Let's say MyFitnessPal. It'll just give me the option to install. So once you're at an apps page, you could of course read the description, hit show details right over here, and you could read what the app's all about. It's probably the best way to determine whether or not you want an app on your phone. The next thing you can look at is what the phone requires access to. So at the very bottom you can see that this app requires access to your camera, your data services, phone identity, and uh, that's pretty much for that. You could read the reviews to see what other people with Windows phones are saying about it, get their star rating and also little comments that they leave. And then lastly, you can look at the screenshots to see if the user interface is pretty much what you're looking for. But that's pretty much it. It's really easy. And uh, there's a lot of apps on the Windows Phone Marketplace now. There's over 50,000, so definitely a lot you can choose from. All right, that's it for me in this video. This is Dave from PhoneBuff.com. If you found this video helpful, hit the like button and subscribe. And don't forget to visit PhoneBuff.com for more cell phone news, reviews, and how-tos. Thank you.